Hi, welcome back to Cadable. This is Engineer Abraham Umar. And today we'll be creating this uh, shaft support bracket in SOLIDWORKS. This will be 13th uh, tutorial of this uh, series. And I will also be providing its source file, which you can download from the description link. So let's go to here SOLIDWORKS. I'm using SOLIDWORKS 2020. And let's go to here new, select part and click OK. And now we are in SOLIDWORKS interface. First of all, as usual, uh, I'll change my background to plain white and you can see my units are in mmgs millimeters gram second so let's go to here let's say top pane select sketch and uh, i will make this uh, base rectangle here and uh, uh, let's say this rectangle is uh, 52 by 128 so let's go to solidworks and uh, i will create a center rectangle and uh, this horizontal dimension is let's say 128 millimeters and this vertical dimension is 52 And uh, let's click here and exit this sketch. I will rotate my view. Okay. And uh, the extrusion is 26. So let's go to here extruded boss and I'll change this to 26. And I'll click OK. Uh, now you can see that uh, we have a cut extrusion here. And uh, this is, uh, let's say, uh, uh, 52 minus 10 is 42, 42 by uh, uh, 26 minus 15, 9. So I have to cut this portion. So let's go to SOLIDWORKS again. And this time I will select this face, go to sketch and I will select this face. And uh, I will use this option view, uh, view normal. And this time I will create another uh, rectangle. This time I will be using a uh, corner rectangle okay so okay here uh, this dimension was 26 so this will be 15 from the top side i will change it to 15 and also this dimension was 10 i will change it to 10 and now i have to cut this portion and just rotating my view rotate view and now uh, you can also see from this uh, isometric view that uh, 10 millimeters here and 15 millimeters here. 26 minus 15 will give us uh, 9, uh, sorry, 11. And uh, 52 minus 10 will give us 42. So uh, I have to cut this uh, portion. Uh, so let's go to your features, cut extrude. And I have to uh, uh, cut extrude through all. So I will change this option from blind to through all. And I'll select OK. So uh, this base is done. And uh, next is uh, I will create this portion. And uh, let's say this is 30. And then I have a uh, center arc or uh, a three point arc of uh, uh, diameter 60. And then we have a hole of uh, 30. And we have a rib and slot. So uh, let's make uh, uh, OK. Let's make first uh, slot. So this slot dimension is 50 by uh, 15. So let's go to here SOLIDWORKS again. And uh, this time I will select this face, go to sketch and uh, I'll choose this option normal to view. Now you can also find this option here. Uh, uh, go to here view orientation and select this uh, normal to view and we have a shortcut as well. Control plus 8. So uh, I will create a slot straight slot and I'll make a straight slot here and uh, you can see the dimension is 50 from this extreme side to this extreme side and uh, this dimension is 10 so let's go to SOLIDWORKS again and uh, this time I will be using this option point this will help us when we will be uh, dimensioning our slot so go to a smart dimension and the dimension from uh, this edge to this point is uh, 10 and uh, the dimension the overall length of this slot is 50 and uh, the width of this slot is 15 I'll change it to 15 uh, uh, you can see that it is still underdefined so let's make another constraint uh, 20 so go to a smart dimension again and this time the dimension from here to here is 20 and now you can see that uh, it is fully defined 
the sketch is turned into black and you can also see here fully defined so uh, just exit the sketch rotate view and now i have to uh, go to here features uh, cut extrude select this sketch and uh, click here through all and click ok so slot is also done and uh, next is uh, i will create this so let's go to here uh, solidworks again and this time i will be choosing this face so go to here sketch select this face and uh, i'll choose this option and now i uh, pick this option line i'll make a line here to here and uh, this dimension is let's say uh, 30 millimeter and the, this dimension is from here right not from here so i make a dimension 30 and uh, now i will make a, a tangent arc and uh, the uh, diameter of this arc is uh, 30 Now, in fact, uh, the uh, uh, die is 60, so radius will be 30. Uh, now you can see that I can still drag and uh, let's go to here again. And you can see that uh, I have to join this arc to this face. So go to SolidWorks again and uh, choose this line tool and uh, just select like this arc hold shift key select this line and make it tangent and now you can see that it is fully defined so uh, i have to uh, close my contour select this line and i will close my contour here okay uh, now i can uh, extrude this geometry so i will rotate my view uh, i can also make circle here and, uh, and the dimension of the circle is 30 and it is uh, uh, on the center so uh, go to your solidworks again and uh, select this circle and uh, i'll snap this center point and uh, the dimension of this circle is 30 and now you can see that circle is also uh, fully defined uh, let's go to your features extrude boss and uh, uh, this uh, direction is not correct so i'll select this reverse direction and uh, the extrusion is uh, uh, throughout uh, we will create this rib later so i choose this option through all and click ok uh, now you can see that we are almost done with this lastly we have uh, a feature left and that is called rib the thickness of this rib is 20 and uh, let's make it let's go to solidworks this time i will just rotate my view and uh, because i have to choose this face so let's go to your features select this option rip and uh, i will select this face and uh, i will choose this option normal to view and i will make a line here to here and this line will be tangent to this arc so select this line hold shift select this r and make them tangent now you can see that this line is fully defined uh, i will rotate my view to isometric and uh, i will select this and now you can see the preview of the rib so the thickness is 12 you can see in this picture as well the thickness is 12 and uh, it is outside uh, sorry it is inside the body right not outside so uh, you can see that it is uh, somewhere a middle half thickness uh, outside and half thickness inside I have to choose uh, sorry I have to choose this option and uh, click OK and now you can see that rib is done uh, so I think we are done with this uh, uh, exercise uh, we can also counter check let's say the extrusion length is 128 so we have a very important feature and that is called uh, evaluate so go to evaluate and uh, select this option measure and uh, select this face and uh, just rotate it and select this face and you, you can see that uh, the distance between these faces are 128 millimeters now we can also check the diameter so go to your measure and this time i will choose this uh, circle and you can see that the diameter is 90 
uh, sorry, uh, uh, the diameter is 30 millimeters. We can also verify the diameter is 30. And uh, we can also check the uh, overall length of the slot and that length is 50. So let's delete it. Let's select this point and this point. And you can see that the distance between these points is 50. Uh, lastly, I will apply some uh, uh, appearance or color to this body. So uh, I will go to here, edit appearance. And uh, you can apply any color to this uh, uh, shaft bracket. Let's apply some, uh, let's say, a blue color. Let's select this color and click OK. Uh, so that's it for uh, uh, today's tutorial. Uh, I hope you like it and if you have any questions, any queries related to this or any other tutorial in my list, uh, you can ask in comment section. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to the channel for more informative and interesting videos. Thank you.